Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be. I I am a little tired, but I I will I will try. I will try to uh, make something out of this. But anyways, uh, what can I talk about? I think this is gonna probably be another random talk. But today I did do that. Um, I went ahead and picked up the uh, Nike Adapt. BB 2.0 and overall to explain what that is there's the self-lacing Nike shoe and um, it's a pretty dope shoe I like it I think it's pretty cool um man I don't know why I'm so tired like I I just don't I don't understand it like I, I felt like I was doing okay and then all of a sudden I just Got really tired, but anyways, um, yeah, I went ahead and picked those shoes up. It was something that I had regret, like, as soon, I, I didn't even buy the shoes yet, but I knew I was, and, um, once when they had got my size and everything, uh, cause I was over at the Nike store downtown Seattle, once when they got my size and everything, so I was like, okay, like, should I be really getting these? Like, do I do I really need these? And sure enough, sure enough, I ended up buying them, and I was like, you know what? And I'm like, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I I be feeling like that and stuff over some purchase. Like, even it was like, cause I cause I had went and walked to an uh um a location that like that I would sometimes work at and things, but anyways. I walked over there, and there was a woman that worked in the building. She was all like, I, I, I told her, I was just like, I regret buying these uh, shoes, but you know what? Hey, they're mine, and um, I'm, I'm honestly glad that I now have them. I'm glad that I have a pair of things. I've been fooling around with them pretty much ever since I got home. There you go. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll probably be yawning a lot in this uh, episode. But yeah, I got those shoes. They're they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I like them. So would I recommend uh, people to go buy them? I m- maybe maybe it it just it really depends. Like if you're like a true good old fashioned like sneakerhead and things then uh maybe but if you aren't then probably not i feel like anybody that is not a sneakerhead like i mean if you want to go try the shoes and you're not a sneakerhead i mean just the uh one of my friends at work he wanted to try the shoes out and uh, see how they work and he's not a sneakerhead and things so i don't know it's just it's really up to you but i i wouldn't recommend this shoe for everybody it's uh like I was saying, like it's it's a shoe for like some sneakerheads and stuff, but man, I am really tired. Like I I'm, I'm so over here, I'm trying to like it's only three minutes into this podcast, I'm like, dang. Like what what can I what can I possibly do to like wake me up? Cause I haven't been tired like this in a while. I'm like, I haven't had a long day. Like I took the naps I needed to take. Um, work was a breeze. Work was definitely a breeze today. I, man, I ain't never seen, I think because this is virus stuff, it kind of got people scared. And so they're all like trying to be safe as possible. But dang, I ain't like that work today. I'm like, I ain't never seen it like that before. So I'm like, that's why it's, it's kind of, it's different, you know, seeing that work is and things like, and then tomorrow is going to probably be just as worse. So that's why I'm like, I, uh, I'm curious, I'm curious on what it's going to be like and things, but, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not as bad. 
But uh yeah, there's there's that. Um what else can I freaking talk about? I feel like I didn't talk about anything. There's that was happened today. Went to work. There was barely anything to do there. And I got me some really expensive shoes. Oh yeah, the shoes they cost uh four hundred dollars. So that's why I'm like, God dang. Like should I and before before tax four hundred, but after tax it was like four forty or something like that, so yeah, that was uh, that was the part that hurt me. I'm like, dang, 440 for some shoes, and I'm buying them. Like, <sighs> dang, I am really tired right now. Let me do something that's gonna, cause I, my my mind is blank right now. I can't even find anything to talk about. Um, yeah, let's probably. I'm gonna probably do a ask Reddit. Real quick, get some stuff out of the way, but, um, anyways, cause yeah, I haven't done, I felt like I hadn't done one in a while, but, anyways, uh, yeah, welcome to another Ask Reddit, uh, first question, teachers of Reddit, what was the best excuse for being late that turned out to be true? Oh, I feel like that's a good one, yeah, that's definitely one for teachers, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to answer it, or say something about it, I'm just gonna keep on going, there's the what? I, I'm not even going to try to try to say those words. Okay, who doesn't get enough hate? Um, Who doesn't get enough hate? Well, probably this new um governor in Alabama because there's this guy that just was like recently. Yeah, it's like he was executed today and the man didn't even do nothing. So, yeah, you know, you shouldn't be hating on this woman overall, but... um. Who is this? It's like somebody just sent me a friend request and I'm like, do I know them? Do I, if I went to school with them? I'm curious, I'm curious on this type of behavior. He's friends with, that's kind of weird. Who is this? He's like, okay, this this is... I don't even know if I should add this person or not. Like, they're friends with my friend's uh, boyfriend. But I'm like, I don't really know her boyfriend like that. I'm positive I don't know anybody that he knows. But he... Yeah, that's some weird stuff. That's, that's some really weird stuff. But anyways, um... Yeah, probably, yeah, to answer that question, who doesn't get enough hate, probably this governor person in Alabama, but next question, people who work out every day and practice a skill every day, how do you find the motivation, and how do you stay motivated? There was a, well, actually, I would technically say that I'm working out every day, I do like 50 push-ups every day and things, but to just find that motivation, you just go for it, just honestly, you go for it, it's like jumping off of a mountain with a parachute on your back like you know you're gonna be okay you know ain't gonna be no problems if you're doing this and stuff so yeah you just go for it that's 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 my motivation behind it and things but next question if scientists invented a teleport teleportation system but the death rate was one in five would you use it why and one in five million would you use it why or why not probably not Probably not, because I'm like, yeah, if somebody dies behind it and things, like, or it's, yeah, it's like in a one in five million chance, like, I don't want to take that chance, because knowing my luck, that, the one time where it's like somebody dies, it'll most likely be me and things, so, that's why I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm okay, I'd rather walk or take a, uh, bus ride, car ride, plane, um, yeah, but teleporting, when you guys fix that, where people ain't dying behind it, then I, might consider it, but anyways, uh, next question, what's the best bathroom stall graffiti you've seen, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really see no graffiti at work, I just see people being nasty, and then just the aftermath of somebody just using the bathroom and things, I'm like, ah, wow, like, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad I ain't gotta live with any of you guys, because y'all living like that, that's, that's just wrong, but anyways, next question, your job is to freak out a Walmart cashier by only buying three items, what would, what do you buy? 
Ooh, that's probably that's that's a good one. That is a good one. I don't know, like what items could I scare an employee with? Huh. That's that's maybe like ex like I don't know, probably something that had to do with explosives or something like that. But I don't even know anything about that, so. I don't know, man. Freaking some gasoline matches and some uh, and a mask. That that'll probably be what I would. Uh, and they probably they might not even catch on to it. No, it was because I remember it was that situation with that actor Jesse Smollett and them uh, two guys. Because people are saying that he was behind it, but then I think like you know, yeah, them guys really did jump him. But no, it was like when they went, they have them on video buying masks and gloves and things. I'm like. Then they ain't raised no suspicion to the cashier and stuff. Like, you ain't tried to call the cops or anything. So, yeah, they, um, yeah, I'm like, hey, you can probably get away with that stuff. So, anyways, um, next question, uh, forget the boys' locker room. Girls, what's the craziest thing that's happening in your locker room? Question I can't answer. So, next question. Women of Reddit, what's the most ridiculous thing a man has ever tried to explain to you? Once again, can't answer that question. Next question. If you were to describe your sex life with the single Star Wars quote, what would it be? I don't even watch Star Wars like that, but um, freaking... I don't know, man. I I, I do not know. I, I need to watch more Star Wars movie than... uh. Then I feel like this question would uh, make sense, or it would be um, it would I I would have an answer for it. But uh, next question: What would you give a ten out of ten rating to? Uh, Red Bull. I I freaking I would really love a Red Bull right now because I'm still feeling tired and things. I'm still feeling tired, but actually, you know, like getting off subject, I feel like I need to talk about this. I hit my knee today while I was at work, and man, that pain was something. I hit it so hard that I was like going, I was like going to the back, but I was limping. And then uh, I was getting ready to go into the uh, office and stuff, but the office it was in use and things, and so I couldn't go in there. But they, uh, I, I just, I waited outside. But I felt like I was either going to throw up or pass out. I was like, wow, like, why, why do I feel, like, why is this happening? I was like, man, that hurt. Like, even kind of, like, rubbing my knee, it's, like, kind of like a sore pain and stuff. But, uh, probably, you know what, like, answering that question, will you give a 10, uh, 10 rating to? Probably that pain today that I felt. Because I was like, you should never, ever feel something like that. But, uh, anyways, what is a non-suitable for work fun fact? Um... You can't have sex while at work. I, f I feel like that, that that would be it. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, next question. You wake up in the year is 2040. What do you Google first? Oh, dang. Um, Probably the prices of stuff. I'm like, no, nah, let me let me see what's going on. I ain't woke up 20 years in the future and things like I yeah definitely would uh see what the um what them prices is looking like for some things but let me get a water break real quick maybe that might help me out hopefully I don't get any like more tired and stuff drinking this water but uh next question what are some Reddit etiquettes you think people should follow? Um, I don't know, be uh respectful of the person's stuff and posting things. Don't don't be disrespectful. I, maybe that would that would probably be it. Uh then people who have one night stands on September tenth of two thousand one, what was the next morning like? Well, I feel like you know the event that happened on September 11th of 2001, I feel like that that's what happened. And that was the only thing on their mind. I feel like some people will probably forget that they had a one night stand prior before that and things. I know I would have like, I'm over here. Yeah, I'm like having a good night. Then I wake up and then all of a sudden like parts of the USA is under attack. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I think the one night stand, that's like far out of my imagination. That's far out of my mind and stuff so 
Next uh, question. Disney has remade all their movies as porn. What are some of the titles? I don't know, man. Um, Snow White and the freaking... I'm trying to think of something that's like suitable and stuff for this podcast. But oh no, to to keep it PG for you guys, um, I don't know. I'll probably like I should tweet them and things, and then just uh, the, like if you want to figure, if you want to see what I had to say, go follow me on Twitter. But I don't know, man. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Hungry Dwarfs. That's hungry for her. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm not good with titles. People need to know that about me. I am not good with titles. When I be making music. I'm like, I'd be sitting there while I'm making the music, be trying to think of the title and stuff. It ain't somewhere. I'm like, boom, there. Like, I got the title out the way. Like, it, it takes me some time. So, um, and it's probably stuff that's already been said if I do say anything. So, uh, next question. People went from rags to riches. How did you do it? I'm still at the rags part, so I cannot answer that question. Uh, if, I think I seen this, uh, earlier, I'm probably going to read these last three and then call it a night, but if marriage were five to ten year contracts with option to renew, if both parties accept it, how would the world be different? I felt like that maybe the divorce rate will probably be less, but also I feel like that, uh, I, I I feel like they would it would be a good idea. I I, I, I think it would be a good idea. And uh but I, I don't know. I feel like there's somebody out there's some people out there. I mean, well yeah, yeah, look look at Kim Kardashian. Didn't she marry somebody for like seventy two days or seventy two hours or something like that? Like she she married somebody and it wasn't even they wasn't even together that long and stuff. So I think it was like seventy something days, but um anyways yeah, I'm like, sometimes it just don't work out with people. That's why I'm like, it'd probably be best to, um, like, if it, it would seem like it would work out, but I, I would like, the minimum, the minimum would have to be five years for me. If I, if I did not trust this woman, the minimum would have to be five years, and I feel like the max would be ten years. I feel like ten years, I feel like y'all would, y'all should have worked something out by then and things, but... Next question, what's it actually like to live in America? Um, it's dope. Just don't get in trouble for nothing. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's um, it's going to probably be a bad situation for you. Like, it's, um, you know, it's 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 okay. It has its uh, beautiful moments. But for the most part, yeah, it's um, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of uh, messed up at times. And Last question, you're locked inside your bathroom, what do you do to entertain yourself while you wait for help? Hopefully I have my laptop or my phone. I Man, I don't know how many times, like, back back when I think I had got my first laptop, and uh, I think it was like, yeah, it was like the um, days I had off, or the days I was, like, home by myself, oh, man. I don't know how many times I ain't brought it to the bathroom, start watching some YouTube videos and stuff, um, just sitting there relaxing. So probably, probably my, uh, probably my laptop. Now it'd probably be like my phone or something. But yeah, I'm like I, I use, I haven't used, I haven't. It's been a while since I just brought a laptop to the bathroom and things and relaxed for a little bit. But it's more convenient with the phone and stuff. Like I, I like the phone a little bit better, but. Anyways, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm just so tired and stuff. Like, I'll hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow I should have more energy. I mean, I probably would have some Red Bull in my system and things. Some Red Bull, this uh, Mountain Dew coat red and things. Ho hopefully, hopefully, but... Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. And if you are purchasing tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS, and it will knock $20 off your first purchase. So, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.